we want now to proceed with the extending of the unity desktop and well by the way you can see i've changed the background again this is hamburg the big city near to my position and i've also changed the desktop theme so you can find all this with i have it here with equinox the ppa of equinox this is Mathieu james which who has designed this new theme here and you can import this as shown for PPEs. So, well, what is the next extension to our desktop? You have here the side panel or launcher, and when you remember, you can you can manipulate its appearance and behavior, and so you can auto hide the launcher on off or. Uh, do it on the top left corner or he as like it here is on the left side and we want to get a different launcher and this is not directly integrated in unity it's a Parisian software and for this please use software center and search for Cairo doc and you will find this here so please install and we'll see us in some seconds. With as soon Cairo Doc has been installed, you see this icon here and please start it. And this is information about OpenGL to use hardware acceleration. Please remember this choice, check this box and press yes. So Cairo Doc will use your graphic hardware. And well, you have already seen this here down and I minimize the software center and here's the Cairo doc so you have here a welcome message to Cairo doc you have here the Cairo doc itself and you see here uh, different icons on it so here on the left you have a main icon with a very classical style and moment so you can do here refinements with the Cairo doc settings you have your terminal, software center, Shotwell, calculator, LibreOffice, music player. Here are some communication programs. Here you have running programs and here is the direct access to your um, hard drive folders and also a shutdown possibility and a help for Kyrodoc. Also, you can show here, show desktop and something like this. So, this here is a little bit too big in my mind. And I don't want to have this on the bottom of my desktop. So, uh, when you scroll down or something, it's, it's not good to have this here. It pops up and it disturbs my workflow. So, I just want to move it a little bit around to the right, to the top. And I want to have this a little bit smaller than this long line here, so I will remove here some icons. First thing first, we move the Cairo dock around, and I think I move it on top. So please, for this, uh, move the mouse cursor on somewhere on the Cairo dock and press the right mouse button. And here you see. Uh, menu and here please choose Cairo doc and configure it. This is a very basic behavior of Cairo doc and the first point is position on the screen and here are some other points visible on the main dock, visibility of sub docs, tossed by icons, animations, effects. So um, we just want to travel here a little bit around to get an overview for what is possible here. The appearance, you can modify the look on a very basic level of uh, Cairo Doc. So you can here, for example, 3D is the default configuration, you can do the rainbow. And well, I apply this for the moment and you see this is the rainbow. Uh, I close this and well you have to move down with the mouse cursor and then access this you have this very very nice effect here so there's much to do about or much possible we switch it back to 
3D plane. You can I maximize the window here. You can also do this with the slides. So um, when you when you do here, oh sorry, I've forgotten to apply this configure and 3D plane uh, apply. Give the system a second and minimize this again. And you see you have the 3D look again. Well, when you move over here the folders, you see this slide comes up. So this is manned and in Cairo Doc, we have here also the possibility to modify the slides to get also 3D plane or parallel or parabolic or what whatever, whatever you want. So in short keys, you have here the possibility, the opportunity to get some key configuration. Current items. So um, here you have only the basic items. We talk later on what is the switcher and you can get here also the extended mode and you can modify all what is possible to your Cairo dock. You can enable here some additional icons. You can modify uh, the mail access of the Cairo dock. You can get here, have some fun in like a little penguin what is moving around on the Cairo dock. I, I think I enabled this here only for showing purposes and here you have already seen there is the little penguin. It is just here and do it some gimmicks when it has landed on the dock and it's, it's a little eye candy for get some fun here on. So back to the configuration. Uh, well, we switch back to simple mode. You may look around this what is available here for you. And in simple mode we have here add-ons to enable for the Cairo dock to get more icons on this very similar to this is what we have on uh, current items. We can also enable them here and disable it. Configuration, what we what we have already have with behavior, some new themes for this. So you can also modify here the themes of the Cairo doc. Well, we switch back to configuration and the behavior tab and our goal was to move the Cairo doc by itself on the desktop. So I use your position on screen, choose which border on the screen the dock will be placed on. I s switch this to top and well, I will uh, change the vis visibility of the main dock. So I will keep the dock hidden always. The only exception is when I move with the mouse to the top of my desktop then Cairo dock will come become visible to me and so it do not disturb me. Effects used to hide the dock so fade out is one possibility but I um, I like to have folding here so you will see what this is in some seconds and visibility of the sub docks so this is not important for first look at it and well I apply this close the configuration dialog and you see the um, Cairo dock is gone for the moment. Only this little thing here is in the left down corner. And I move the mouse to the top, and we see here the Cairo dock again. And you see what is falling. This here is falling. And well, one step more, one last step to Cairo dock for the moment. We have here the this little widget in the down left corner. Well, we move it back to uh, the Cairo dock with the right mouse click and using the switcher option and using return to the dock. So we have it here again. Here it is. And with the little widget here, we are able to switch between different desktops when we have this enabled and this will be one of the next steps. One more word to Cairo Doc. So we have started it manually for this time and on the next reboot it will be not there by default. 
we want to change this so one possibility is to use ChiroDoc and launch ChiroDoc on startup and I simply do this here and the other way around you can also go to startup applications with the search term start in the unity dash and you see ChiroDoc is already there in the automatically start list and well you can also do this here with this program directly without Cairo doc abilities and use the add button as I have shown this in the automatically start up video of this tutorial.